Hey, Andrew Proff here for Atside.com. I'm with Aaron Nagler. We're talking Patriots Broncos in the latest round of Manning versus Brady wasn't even close. Patriots win easily. Aaron, tell me what it means. Well, it's pretty simple. It means the Pats are the best team in the AFC. I think it's pretty clear. And I got to stop picking against the Patriots when they're playing at home. Yeah, but they did it last year, and I don't recall them being in the Super oh, Bowl. Oh, that was a very different game, though. They went, you know, down big, had to claw their way back, and they did win that one, and then went on to lose in the playoff game. But to that point, they ran a lot of the same stuff against Manning and the Broncos on Sunday, and very decisively different in the outcome because they've got the horses to run that race now. You got Browner and Revis on the outside, and you flip it around to the offensive side of the ball. Gronkowski makes such a difference for this offense. Not only, and everyone focuses on what he means downfield for Tom, and I get that, but he makes such a big difference in the running game. When he's blocking in line, he is an underrated blocker, and that sounds weird to say, but it's true. He makes such a difference on offense. Oh, they're clicking. He's a great blocker. I'm not going to argue. I mean, it's a totally different team ever since the Kansas City loss, but this game's in Denver, which it could be in the championship game, right. then I think it's still a toss-up and maybe even give the Broncos a slight edge. You're assuming that they're going to play again in the playoffs, if they do, in Foxborough. Now, New England's definitely got a tougher schedule. Uh, I That's know true. they're in the, the AFC East, but they have some tough trips. They're going to Indy. They're going to Green Bay. Yeah. So they have to stay on top of it. And we know they're great at home. They never lose at home. <laughs> and you know what? Right. Teams come into Foxborough and say, we're going to have a statement win, and it doesn't happen. It didn't happen tonight. But... Still, you look at the Broncos, you're going to forget about everything that happened up to this point no, and say think, that the defense think, isn't good? No, no, no. I, I know a lot of people are. No, I don't think you forget about it, but you, you notice a theme of the way they lost to the Seahawks earlier in the season. It's kind of the same way they lost to the Pats tonight, at least on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, they can't get to the quarterback on defense uh, without a big blitz. You saw that in the second half when you looked at, okay, Jack Del Rio was like, enough of the sitting back stuff. He started coming after Tom. And then he calls off the dogs on third down, rushes four, and they can't get home. It's kind of confounding when you look at Von Miller against other teams wreaking havoc. He was invisible against a Patriots offensive line that has really kind of been mishmash, moved around all year. And they absolutely stonewalled DeMarcus Ware and Von Miller. So yeah. well, that's, to me, that's a big reason why you got to uh, like the Pats here. you got other problems, too. They're not running the ball effectively. Right. And you get to the cold weather issue. You know, uh, yeah. you know, it, it Always raises a talking up his point. Head. Always a talking but point. But I think Denver has a schedule where they can come out on top of New England in the standings, get it at home, and it's a different story. Absolutely. That would obviously be a big factor. But I think if you put the team side by side right now, the way they're playing, I got to take the Pats. All right. I still say it's a toss up. For uh, Aaron Nagler, I'm Andrew Perloff for SI.com.